He-Man gets a new origin with the comic that changes the canon of the Masters of the Universe. The Masters of the Universe have revised their history and now He-Man has a new origin with the most detailed past about the formation of Eternia. Master of the Universe Revolution number one, recently published by Dark Horse, links the comics to a new Netflix version. This title not only showcases the birth of the villain Wardak, but also the entire universe of Prince Ada. To start with, have you read He-Man in the comics? Did you know there were He-Man comics? Are you excited about the confirmed new He-Man movie? Comment below, let's chat! Masters of the Universe Revolution number 1 features the designs of Daniel HDR. The opening pages of the issue show the origin of the universe with two primordial magical forces represented by a Zor Eagle and a case snake fighting and threatening to destroy the birth of this reality. Originally created to support a new line of toys in the 80s, you can't have He-Man without a doll. After all, He-Man was only released to sell dolls, did you know that? But anyway, originally created to support a new line of toys from the 80s, Masters of the Universe became one of the main products for children of the decade and one of the most popular entertainment franchises of all time. He-Man's story takes place in Eternia, a world where science and technology coexist. Different versions of the franchise have explored the origins of the planet Eternia and everyone agrees that its existence is essential to the survival of the universe. The magical powers of this world are then concentrated in the Doll Castle, making it the target of villains including the infamous skeleton He-Man. The new origin featured in Masters of the Universe Revolution 1 expands the historical period to before the existence of Eternia. Zoar, the benevolent force, is the patron of the sorceress and represents good. Ka, like the snake that will later inhabit the serpent's mountain, is evil and corrupt. The conflict between the two nearly destroyed Eternia and the universe, and it only didn't happen because of a balancing force. Even so, this energy also became corrupt and would form the basis for the skeleton's power. In addition to explaining the origins of the magic of He-Man's world, this new story would make an excellent television adaptation. Artist Daniel HDR portrays the battles between Zoar and Ka in a grand way, conveying to fans the urgency of this war. Comment below, did you like this story? Did you like the changes? Do you think it's worth an adaptation? If it's worth an adaptation for Netflix, it's better to change the showrunner. Do you agree with me? Comment below, I want to know.